Grilling season already spelling trouble for Grand Rapids firefighters. Two grill-related fires sparked in the city in less than 24 hours. News H. Joe Lafergie has the details. It's a situation firefighters say they see way too often. The resident here thought her grill had cooled down, but as the damage here on Elm Street shows, it was still pretty hot. Before all this happened overnight, Frida Wood was enjoying some dinner on the grill at her home on Elm near Division. I went to the store, came back home, and my house was on fire. Her son escaped unharmed, but now they have to look for a new home. I grill all the time, so I didn't think that it would catch my house on fire. I would lose my home. But it happens more than you might think. The Elm Street blaze was the second in a span of hours Wednesday night and Thursday morning. This is what greeted firefighters when they arrived on Dickinson near Eastern Wednesday night. This is what it looks like today. The home's garage gone. July is our biggest month for grill fires, so we're kind of trying to make the public aware to be safe using their grills. Grand Rapids Fire Department Captain Kara Johnson says the most common mistake is leaving a hot grill too close to a house. They'll push it back towards the structure when they're done and it's still, you know, radiating heat. And so you will see that it will put the vinyl siding on fire and it's a slow process. And then once it actually gets on fire, then that's when we get called and it's usually already in the walls by then. And if it happens at night, chances are you and your family will be asleep inside, unaware of the danger. Here's a few ways to avoid that danger. Keep any grill at least 10 feet away from a house or another structure. Don't use your grill on or around combustibles like wood. Clean your grill to cut down on the grease flare-ups. And if it's a gas grill, check the hoses for leaks. Frida Wood says heeding those warnings can save you from a lot of heartache. And just stay safe while you're grilling. That's it. And we have more tips on how to avoid this thing from happening to you inside our story of woodtv.com. In Grand Rapids, Joel Lafergie, News 8.